Right, I don't know if this is working today. Let me see. Maybe it's working. If you're out there, um, say hello. <laughs> I'm the worst on live. So, let's see if this is working. So, um, today we are in Psalm chapter 13, and it is, it's a psalm that I think, I know that I relate to, I can relate to from time to time, and and hopefully um, it connects uh, with you, or hopefully it doesn't connect with you, but at, nevertheless, let's just jump in and um, hopefully it relates, we'll say it like that, it's maybe it relate to what to some of the things we, we struggle with. So let me just jump in and we'll read this psalm together. It says, How long, Lord, will you forget, will, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will, will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. So, David, in this passage, obviously, apparently, is going through a really, really hard time. He's broken. He's wrestling with the agony and the frustration of, of heaven being silent. Um, for him, he's crying out, and, and it appears to him, his... His, his experience during this time is that God has turned his back on him, that God is silent, that God's not answering his prayers, and he doesn't feel God's presence. He, he says, how long, Lord, will, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? And I don't know about you, but there are, there are seasons in faith where it seems that God is silent. There are times, there is this, this um, my observation is it goes in these, these waves. There are moments where it feels like God is all around and he is present and we are so tuned in to what he's doing. And then there are, there are seasons, weeks, months, it seems like sometimes where like nothing. And it, it raises the question how do we how do we make it through these silent times how do we make it through these dark nights of the soul as they've been called how, how do we deal with depression and how do we deal when it feels like heaven is silent I, I know that for me um, it can get very lonely very isolating and so I think that David actually in this psalm, he gives um, some practical advice. The first thing that he says, or what he says after after he gives this out and and expresses himself to God that he feels that God's been silent, he he then turns he he turns the conversation. He says, "But I trust in your unfailing love." My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praises, for he has been good to me. And I think there's actually in those two verses four things that we can do during times of silence, depression, where it feels like God's not there. The first thing that he says that he does is that he, he will trust in your unfailing love. For most of us, when we feel like God is silent, the first thing that we want to do is we want to stop. We want to retreat. We want to isolate ourselves. We want to stop praying. We want to stop reading the Bible. We want to stop perhaps worshiping God. We want to stop. We stop going to church. We isolate ourselves, ourselves from God and from God's people. 
Jesus, or but but David says here that he's going to continue to trust in his unfailing love, which means he's going to trust that God is there, that God is faithful, and he's going to continue stepping out in faith and living out his life in relationship with God, which for us means continue to read through the scriptures, continue to pray, continue to worship, continue to be with God's people. He then says that my heart rejoices in your salvation. And I I just find the word rejoicing so interesting because I think it, it means to choose joy. To rejoice means to return to joy or to choose joy. Oftentimes you and I, we don't experience joy because we let it depend on on our circumstances and what's going on around us externally. But to rejoice is to internally choose joy regardless of what's going on around us. And so he chooses, he, he chooses to trust and continue to move forward. He chooses to, to experience joy. He chooses joy. And then he says that I will sing the Lord's praises, which means he's going to worship God. Even though God appears to be silent in this, he's going to, he's going to worship. Now, worship, worship is about focus. Worship is about where am I directing my heart in my life? In the storm, am I going to focus on the problem or am I going going to focus on the person of God, the, the, the presence? And not only is worship about focus, but worship also is about physical posture, about singing, about opening your hands. There's been studies done about just our physical state and what that does to our um physiological chemistry and how it changes us and so worshiping and singing even when we don't feel like it is a good thing and then he says that i will sing for lord's praises for he has been good to me he remembers the way that god has blessed him in the past and when we focus on how god has blessed us in the past it will bring a breakthrough in the present and so, I think it's some really just practical guidance and wisdom that David shares this morning on how do we, how do we wrestle through the seasons of silence? How do, we, how do we navigate the dark night of the soul? And David says that he's going to continue to trust. He's going to continue to rejoice. He's going to continue to sing. And he's going to continue to remember what God has done for him. And so maybe, um, may that be a, uh, may that be good news to you today. If you're, especially if you're going through a dark time or depression, or it feels like heaven is silent, may, may this, may this be good news. May this be, um, the thing that you need to step through learning this this model that David has given us on how to navigate just to trust, to rejoice, to sing, and to remember how God has been faithful to us in the past. And it's in those places that we we find breakthrough. And so hopefully that makes sense. Sorry for the beginning of this video. I wasn't sure if I had connected or not. And so um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Love you. Bye.